Hi again, welcome to the garage. There's a little uh, glimpse of a uh, nice weather outside. It's been, we've been waiting for that for uh, so long this, this spring. It's, it's been pretty bad for uh, you know that winter and uh, that spring. So um, my friend Philip and I, like I'm still working on uh, preparing those uh, tap followers and the Philip's going to be there like at least tomorrow, maybe two days in a row, to give the final touch to those, the, uh, the tap followers we're bringing down to California. Um, you know, when you remove some stuff, you know, like uh, you got metal to remove on the part and you want to make just one. Maybe you don't really worry too much about uh, making two or three or four passes and uh, maybe, you know, a few more passes. You know, it it doesn't account much into the uh, time of the old projects. But when you get, the, uh, you know, pretty much a lot to do, uh, <laughs> you want you want to uh, make the passes count. So, uh I'll be just showing you one method I use, and you don't have to approve, you don't have to do the same, you don't have to uh, cherish at it, but uh, it's one thing I do uh, when I get, you know, longer uh, longer removal to do, and the uh, result is a pretty fine, pretty tiny, um, you know, like, uh, and long, um, you know, like cylindrical part. Uh, if you do that in many in many passes, you you don't really save time, and if you do it in one pass, it keeps your rigidity rigidity to the maximum, and uh, you can achieve pretty surprising results. We're just uh, behind there is late, and let's get at it, and I'll show you what I did. Here, there's something you might enjoy as a little trick uh, when you know working late and turning. I need to go and get this as a final result. Um, this is already done, like uh, you can see I'm starting from this blank here, which I've uh, done this side. It's pretty much under, me uh, you know, like uh, on coats and pretty close. And now I need to remove about the same amount on this side here. But, you know, this is going to be going to uh, be 3 eighths of an inch to 3 sixteenths of an inch. Uh, that's about uh, 200,000 of, uh, of an inch going down. And it's a lot. Uh, you, you can achieve this in the uh, doing you know very small cut. I'm going to be using a uh, inverted uh, you know V uh, V shape uh, life center to go on this side to hold eventually, but not this time. I, I want to remove the bulk of the material very fast. I'm not I'm not going to be making like uh, very small tiny cuts because as soon as you get very much you know very many times the diameter here, it's going to be like uh, inducing some flex and uh, you're going to have problems. So let's go from this to this in one shot. Uh, if I'm trying, just uh, if I'm trying to put this in the late, and it's gonna just bite on the first, uh, you know, very, very, very. Not it's not gonna be a very firm uh, hold, even with the uh, chuck at the end. I won't be able to take uh, big cuts in there. If I want to remove all this in one shot, it's gonna be by inserting this part here far enough in the chuck so it has enough holding power to just remove this in one shot and it's exactly what we're gonna do as you see there we're about uh, yeah, it's about even so what we got in the chuck there is sufficient to hold this there and I'm gonna be removing 200 thousandths just about in one pass 175 thousandths let's say uh, this is going from uh, three point 375 thousandths is uh, seven. Uh, no, it's 9.5 about millimeters, going down to about 4.7 millimeters, or something around there. Very close on that. One shot. Uh, I'm turning about 650 RPMs. Uh, advance is uh, three thousandths per per rev. And let's go. It's gonna make uh, not exactly the nicest ships though. I have to cut the uh, the feed for just allow it to break. But we're removing 175 thousandths in one shot, one pass. It's uh, uh, a little bit more than uh, four millimeters. There you go. It's gonna leave me about uh, 10 thousandths or maybe uh, Point, uh, point 0.3 millimeter or something like that left. Oops, the chips are flying in my face. There you go, as close as possible. That's it. I got about uh, 
one third of a millimeter to do the finishing there like uh, 12 maybe 10 12 thousandths and we'll remove the bulk there when this this part is closer from the chuck it'll be much easier and that uh, you know like uh, stable so removing big bulk materials on small parts hope you enjoyed so I'm now getting to my next step there's not much uh, not much of this uh, you know part that's cutting the chuck so I need to uh, be careful now that's the time f that's the time for a small uh, you know the, the smaller cuts so touch down and go to uh, you now I'm thinking about 40 thousandths per cut maybe a little bit of oil Okay, another 40, 50 thousandths at the most. See the small cuts? They're going much faster than just going the full length. Much easier, much faster. Because if you go to these kinds of cuts for the whole length, I mean, it takes, uh, takes forever. going to final cut okay that's it we got about uh, 12 th 10 to 12 thousands to remove so it's removing pretty nicely and a uh, high-speed steel cutter like this is uh, doing a better job and they uh, smaller cuts also I'll need the um, I'll be needing a spring cut though yeah, I guess this makes a little spring. Shit. It rhymes with spring cut. Let's get rid of this little... Come on, get out of there, you. That's doing fine. We're moving a um, little bit from the uh, spring cut, which is not much. Nice to see. Let's get the uh, shoulder done. And let's measure this. By the way, uh, it's not the way Philip told me to do it. <laughs> I fell. <laughs> but it works. Hope this one doesn't uh, burst my face. <laughs> 